Do you know how many coffee cups, giant robot brains, and jars use on a daily basis? Not fucking many! Fallout New Vegas is a voluminous game with many places to go, things to do, and items to collect. In the process of covering all that ground, though, a fair amount of combat happens, which is accompanied by a wide selection of arms. However, while there's an almost opulent selection of guns in the Mojave Wasteland alone, some people are still left wanting. As luck would have it, the downloadable content packs can remedy such a desire, offering new and different weapons to help you fend off the threats of the Wasteland. In this specific case, the DLC in question is Old World Blues and its 1950s B-movie horror humor. To start things off is a pair of closely related guns, the first of which being the K9000 Cyberdog gun. The K9000 is a special oversized lead-spitting firearm with a dog brain somehow being part of its construction. This gun is reasonable enough on its own, being well reliable in a firefight. However, it can be upgraded to a more powerful and unique variant called Fido, which boasts much higher damage. Upgrading to the special version, however, takes quite a bit of work, as first you have to acquire the K9000. Depending on your gun's skill, this task can be as easy said as it is done. There are only two instances of the K9000, and there's only one chance to acquire it the easy way. When you first wake up at the beginning of Old World Blues, you'll have a conversation with the scientists who run the place, and they'll naturally ask you to get your hands dirty. It's during this conversation that you have a chance to ask for a gun to complete the tasks they give you. You have to pass a skill check to actually get the gun though, and specifically need a gun skill of 50. If you succeed, you'll get a K9000 for free. Yes, I have the Cyberdog gun, with the little floppy metal ears and the curious nose sensor. Here. Fine. Done. That gun makes me uncomfortable anyway. Always worried it's going to hump my chassis. If you're not so trained with firearms, though, you'll have to get the only other copy the hard way. By the end of the chat with the scientists, you'll have a special energy handgun in your possession, but before you can use it properly, you have to find upgrades for it. Doing so is part of the main quest in Old World Blues, but the quick rundown is you go to the X-8 research facility east of the dome, then run through its simulation twice to get the upgrade, which allows the gun to shut off force fields. You then head to the X-12 facility right next to the dome's west side, use the gun to kill the barrier, and and kill the enemy inside who is carrying the K9000. Be careful though, as more enemies spawn when you kill the one carrying the hard-to-get dog gun. Now, no matter how you get the K9000, if you want to upgrade it to the special variant called Fido, you must head to the X13 facility on the far west side of the Big Empty. When you enter the facility in the first room, just to the right, is a storage closet protected by a force field. Disable it with the upgraded sonic emitter and check inside of a suitcase in the corner for a kennel key. Take the key and return to the X-8 building, then locate the kennels inside, where you can find a set of blueprints for upgrading the K9000 to Fido. Once you pick up this piece of paper, you just need to visit a workbench with the K9000 in your inventory, and you can instantly upgrade it to the Fido, a superior dog gun. And yes, it is a long process to perform this upgrade, but that's what you have to do, take it or leave it. That's a lot of work for one gun though, so let's move on to something that's a little bit easier to acquire. Similar to how acquiring the K9000 shares work with the main quest, this next weapon does as well, except you are required to actually pick it up, making it impossible to miss. The weapon is the X2 antenna, which is part of a broadcast relay located to the south of the think tank at the X2 transmitter antenna array. This oversized club is the strongest melee weapon from Old World Blues, and it's nearly the most powerful blunt weapon altogether in New Vegas. However, one major catch is, it is especially slow to swing if you don't have a high enough strength attribute to wield it. Even if you can't or don't use it though, it's very much worth keeping for aesthetic value alone. 
because who doesn't want the option to clobber people to death with a massive antenna ripped off of a satellite dish? Rolling forward, the next weapon is one powerful cannon that sharpshooters will absolutely love. Christine's COS Silencer Rifle. This special sniper rifle has two primary drawbacks. It weighs more than a standard rifle and has relatively low durability. However, both these are only minor nitpicks, especially given its bonuses. The COS rifle deals significantly higher damage per shot, higher critical damage, and has a better chance to score a critical hit than a standard sniper rifle. Unfortunately though, its AP cost in VATS is also significantly higher. All things considered, it's still a firearm that's absolutely worth getting, which is why it's lucky you don't have to actually do anything crazy to get your hands on it. Christine's COS silencer rifle is found resting in a destroyed building on the north side of Little Yangtze, a prison camp full of ghouls northwest of the think tank. The rifle is completely unguarded with no traps around, sitting on the second floor of the tiny shack, and all you need to do is show up and pick it up to add it to your collection. Another gun that's also just sitting around is a special modified energy cannon, also known as Elijah's jury-rigged Tesla cannon. This static blaster is actually surprisingly similar to its counterparts, with little variation. It deals slightly more damage over the standard Tesla cannon, but just slightly less than the custom model from the Mojave. Where it does vary in a significant way, though, is the number of charges it holds, two more than the alternative versions, and how much spread it has, which is zero, meaning that no shot ever goes stray by any degree at all. If you're interested in getting this weapon, it can be found at Elijah's Watch to the northeast of the dome and dangerously close to the radar fence. The camp is guarded by a few turrets, one of which the cannon is sitting next to. Be careful though, a series of Securitrons will appear when you pick it up. Other than that though, it's a very powerful and amazingly easy weapon to find. Closing off the list is a normal weapon with amazing upgrade potential, the Saturnite Fist. The Saturnite Fist is a durable, lightweight, and fast-swinging variant of the classic Power Fist. It's commonly carried by lobotomites crawling all over Big Mountain. However, if you're having trouble finding one, there's a guaranteed copy located in the Saturnite Alloy Research Facility, located southwest of the dome, and just north of the artillery platform. The fist is on the lower levels of the facility, down in the caves, on the far east end sitting next to a toolbox. Also, you'll require the sonic emitter to take down a force field to get to the far east end of the facility. Now, the Saturnite Fist on its own really doesn't do too much to be special, but it can be superheated to significantly increase its damage rating and add an extra incendiary effect. This upgrade can only be applied by taking it to the toaster located in the sink, though. The problem is, the toaster won't talk until you install its personality, which is a hollow disk located in a lobotomite den called the Cuckoo's Nest. This cave is located southwest of the dome, almost directly west from Higgs Village. As you might imagine, it's crawling with lobotomites, and inside, amongst the refuse they covet, is a toaster shrine with the personality disc sitting in the middle of it. After you grab this disc, you just need to activate the toaster in the sink and speak to it about the destruction it can bring, which, for some reason, includes superheating power fists. You want some weapon schematics? I can show you some fucking weapon schematics! You want a superheated Saturnite power fist? I can hook that shit up! Old World Blues introduces an amazing number of new weapons to Fallout New Vegas. In fact, too many to talk about. However, the ones covered here are certainly of particularly high value for both their practical use and collectability. If the ordnance you saw here wasn't enough though, then don't worry, as there are plenty more guns to be found in the Mojave, as well as the other three story-based downloadable content packs for Fallout New Vegas. Thanks for watching and listening, I'm William Strife, and I'll see you later.